And why won't VLOOKUP work in this case? Well, we can see the lookup value, the dog name is to the right of the data that we want to actually display. We want to display this data. It's not going to work with VLOOKUP. So what are the options in this case? And you might say, well, Chris, that's easy. We can just use XLOOKUP. Absolutely, XLOOKUP would be an option. Why do I not use XLOOKUP? Because a lot of my customers are not using Excel 365. So XLOOKUP simply doesn't work for them. So that's why I'm only using XLOOKUP very selectively at the moment. And you might say, Chris, that's easy. I can just use index and match. Yes, index and match would work. I think there's a better option. I'm going to show it to you now and I'm going to explain why I think it's better than index and match. So with that said, let's get into this one. And we're not using VLOOKUP. What formula are we going to use? Well, it's one of Excel's great unsung heroes. It's the match formula. Wherever we're doing positioning, trying to find where data is in a data set, in a column in this case, which row is the data on, match is going to help us to do that. So what do we need to do? We need to go across to our lookup value and then comma, and then we need to select the column that contains the name. We're going to match to that value, Betty, in this cell, comma again, and then match type because we're using discrete data or text. We can just put zero in there. So that's our match formula. What does match return? It's going to always return a number, in this case, two. Why is it two? Well, we can see we're trying to find Betty, and Betty is one, two rows down. So it gives us the position in a range of data. Betty is the second row. That's why it's returned a value of two. So this is much incredibly useful, but on its own, doesn't seem to be doing much, doesn't seem very exciting, but the magic happens when we combine it with offset. Yes, I recommend offset and match as a solution when you're looking to deal with this situation when VLOOKUP won't work. Now, why match and offset and not match and index? Well, if we're going to use index, then we need to specify a range. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you index here. Uh, we've got to uh, specify an array or a range, but what if you can't specify a range? Yeah, maybe you don't want to use tables and maybe your data set is going to keep changing. This is the problem I always have with index. That's why I prefer offset because with offset, all we need is what offset calls a reference or an anchor point. Yes, we just need a single cell. So it doesn't matter how big that data set gets because we just need a single cell. And in this case, we're going to use this cell as our anchor point in the top left uh, corner in the table. So that's why I prefer offset and match to index and match. Let's go ahead and put our offset formula in now. So the offset formula is going to be working with match. So offset, open brackets, and reference. So where's that anchor point going to be? Let's go ahead and select the cell at the top of the age column there, and then comma. Excel is asking for rows. Now with offset, that means how many rows do you want to move away from that anchor point? Then it's going to return the value of the cell it gets to. So we can just use the match formula because the match formula is returning that number that gives us the position of our dog selected. It was two for Betty, of course. So that's going to work great. And then how many columns do we want to move across? Well, because we've put our anchor cell at the top of the age column, we don't need to move any columns across. So we can go ahead and just close the bracket there, offset and match working together. Let's test it and see how we do. And we can see Betty returning a value of 13 seems to be accurate. Let's go ahead and try Luna. Luna returning a value of seven seems to be accurate. Let's try value at the bottom of the data set now. I'm going to try Finn should return a value of 12. And I can see returning a value of 12. There. So that's how to use offset and match to do the job that VLOOKUP can't do. It's Chris here. And if you enjoyed this video, I've got a special treat for you. We've got a full one hour session from our Members Monday community. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is sign up, put your email into the link below this video. We will email you some information about our fantastic Members Monday community, but it's absolutely free. It's a one hour session. The link is in the video description below.